From the biggest bat in the world to a wasp that can turn you into a walking zombie, here are 10 creepy discoveries made in the jungle. Number 10. The Giant Bat There's been a pretty outstanding photo circulating on the internet of a bat that looks to be about the size of a pterodactyl. Is it real? Well, kind of. This is a classic case of optical illusion photography. Taken from the right angle, just about anything can look way bigger than it really is. However, there are indeed giant bats that have been discovered in the jungle, specifically the flying fox. These incredible bats have been discovered in the Philippines, and they're the world's largest bat. While the photographs describe a bat that is the size of a human, it's not quite true unless you're talking about a very small human. According to Science Alert, the largest species of flying fox bats have a massive wingspan of about 5.5 feet, 1.7 meters. But their bodies are actually pretty small, only being about 1 foot, 30 centimeters in length. Still, that's a monstrous bat. It looks terrifying, and especially with its wings spread wide, it could spook any normal person into running as fast as they can, as far away as they can. It's definitely the size of a hefty child. Number 9. The Giant Head of Guatemala A giant stone head was discovered half a century ago deep in the jungles of Guatemala. What was extremely strange about this stone head was that it had Caucasian features, whereas most relics from that area would have had indigenous features. The discovery attracted quite a bit of attention, but it very quickly slipped back into the pages of history. So what's the story behind the giant stone head of Guatemala? It's actually a little mysterious. The Guatemalan archaeologist Hector E. Mejia wrote that the monument presented no characteristics of Maya, Nahuatl, or any other civilization from before the Spaniards. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's proof of alien life. Just because something can't be explained doesn't mean it was automatically built by aliens. As far as the story goes, a well-known explorer by the name David Hatcher Childress actually went in search of this giant stone some years ago, but found that the site had been completely destroyed. According to the explorer, he found the site just 7 miles, 10 kilometers, from a small village in the south of Guatemala, but the statue had been completely destroyed since its original discovery. It looks like nobody is ever going to know who built a giant stone head of a white person in pre-Hispanic Guatemala, or why. What do you think? Is it a hoax? Was it planted there? Are the researchers just mistaken and it was simply a more recent sculpture? Could it have been a fantasy image for the Mayans that just happened to resemble a Caucasian person? Or could it have been something even more fantastic? Let me know what you think in the comments below. After you're done doing that, Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll love the next videos waiting for you. Number 8. The Lost City of the Monkey God The jungles of the world are full of abandoned cities. It's so easy for the jungle to retake stone and rock in just a handful of years, which explains why so many cities have been subsumed into the wilderness and forgotten. But a recent 2015 expedition to Honduras unveiled an unexplored city extremely deep in the jungle, which became popularly called the Lost City of the Monkey God. According to The Verge, the city belonged to an unknown civilization. The expedition consisted of a team of archaeologists, and they managed to track down the city's location by using special surveillance technology. They explored it on foot and found undisturbed ruins completely swallowed by the forest including hundreds of relics and even temples. The archaeologists believe the site was likely untouched since it was abandoned by a previously unknown civilization. And while the reasons for the ancient city's collapse are unknown, the archaeologists speculate that it could have had something to do with an apocalyptic pandemic. During the investigation, two-thirds of the expedition contracted a flesh-eating parasite called Leishmaniasis. The parasite attacks the face and eventually causes the victim's lips and nose to literally fall off, leaving horrible sores where the person's nose and mouth would have been. It's an atrocious disease, but with modern medicine it can be fixed. However, the residents of this lost city of the monkey god could have been the victim of this parasite. Without the proper medicine, it could have wiped out every last person who lived there. Number 7. The Boiling River Deep in the Amazon jungle is a boiling river. It was thought to be a myth until a geoscientist actually discovered the mythical boiling waters. It's hidden in the dense jungle of the Peruvian Amazon. 
It has steaming turquoise waters that reach over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The river flows through ivory-covered stones and is guarded by massive walls of lush vegetation and thriving forest. Locals actually believe that the river is sacred and that its hot waters hold healing powers. Local shamans even use the water in some of their medicines. There are lots of local legends surrounding the boiling river, but a lot of people didn't actually think it existed. It wasn't until Andres Russo created a thermal map of Peru while studying at the Southern Methodist University in Texas. While creating the thermal map, he discovered a large hotspot, one of the most intense geothermal features anywhere on the planet. So he went on an expedition in 2011 and finally found the river. As you can imagine, it was quite the journey, but he eventually found the source of all this boiling water. Even to this day, the river is protected by a shaman and a small town situated deep in the jungle. Russo had to get special permission from the shaman just to study the water. And what he found was indeed a river of superheated water, the result of a fault-led hydrothermal feature. Basically, the water is heated underground by the heat of the Earth's core and then surfaces through faults and cracks in the planet's crust, making it look like a river. Number 6. City of Giants in 2012, a team of brave explorers and professional researchers discovered an ancient pyramid complex in an isolated region of the Ecuadorian Amazon. According to one of the researchers that was part of the team, he believes the complex is part of the lost city of the giants, named because of the massive tools that were found in the vicinity and also because of the local legends that speak of a race of enormous giants who once lived in the region. The explorers even discovered a massive pyramid structure made up of hundreds of big stone blocks that were obviously sculpted by human hands. Whether giants truly lived in the Ecuadorian jungle is still debated, even if explorers did find a city full of huge pyramids and megalithic structures that could have fit giants. The chance of there being one civilization of giants in one tiny patch of jungle in a far-off corner of planet Earth is pretty slim. However, if there really were giants, that would be one amazing discovery. I'll believe it when I see the bones. Number 5. Life from Outer Space This story comes from the jungle, but it started out in outer space. A British professor of astrobiology is claiming that a meteorite recently found in the jungles of Sri Lanka contains a unique microscopic group of biological fossils. And he claims it's indisputable proof that life exists beyond our planet somewhere in the solar system. But as always, other scientists are casting serious doubt on his claims. The basis for the alien theory is known as panspermia, which says that life exists all throughout the universe on all kinds of other planets because they're all seeded by comets and meteorites that have a unique form of microscopic algae attached to them. If you want to better understand this hypothesis, imagine comets with tiny microbes and single-celled life forms on them soaring through the galaxy and occasionally crashing into planets, bringing them life. It's actually a sound hypothesis, though it can't be proven. But there are other scientists who claim it's actually fringe pseudoscience and don't hold it in high regard. The problem is that many of the scientists who believe in the panspermia theory also believe crazy things like the flu came from space and that SARS also came from space. These people tend to follow some pretty fringe ideas, and this makes them less credible as scientists. But that doesn't stop the fact that a meteorite was definitely found in Sri Lanka and it definitely had microbial life on it. What do you think? Are these non-standard ideas worth exploring more? It seems like this story of life attracts a lot of adherents. Are you one of them? Let me know in a comment below. Number 4. Ghost Stories from the Vietnam War There are no shortage of stories that came back to the United States after the Vietnam War. Stories of horrifying things happening in the jungle, stories of tragedy and loss. And while the terrors of the war were definitely real, many soldiers came back with some pretty tall tales of the paranormal. Despite the fact that there are incredible and fantastic tales among the countless stories from that time and place, one in particular stands out. It's the haunted apartment of Saigon, now known as Ho Chi Minh City. So far as the legend goes, this was an apartment building that housed American service members during the majority of the Vietnam War but it was plagued with accidents and suspicious activity, including workers who died under curious circumstances during the building's construction. If you know anything about superstition, you won't be surprised that the occurrences were blamed on the fact that the apartment building had 13 floors. Obviously, this is going to cause some serious problems. 
In order to fix the problems, a shaman was actually called in to fix the building. It's said that the shaman brought with him four dead bodies that he acquired from the local hospital, and then he buried them at each corner of the building to protect everyone inside from evil spirits. Whether it worked or not is anyone's guess. But it's claimed that to this day, residents still hear screaming in the middle of the night and even witness the ghost of an American soldier walking with his Vietnamese girlfriend. Now that is really unsettling. Number three, a whale? Here is one that will make you scratch your head in confusion. A dead humpback whale was recently discovered in the Amazon jungle of Brazil near the mouth of the Amazon River. But what exactly was it doing there? The whale was found at about 45 feet, 14 meters, from the shore of Araruna Beach. But it wasn't found in the sand or somewhere that would make sense. It was discovered sitting in the brush. And while it may be a little baffling, especially to look at the pictures, it's actually probably pretty simple. It's either that a powerful tide pushed the whale extremely far inland, or the whale died at sea and then some curious people carried it onto the land, poked it with sticks, and then just left it to rot there. According to the report by CTV News, it's still unclear how the whale died. But it's likely that the young whale got separated from its mother during migration, and through a series of unfortunate events, ended up in the brushes near the Amazon River. Number 2. Mind-Controlling Wasp how do you feel about a wasp that can control your mind? Well, scientists have found a new species of wasp deep in the Amazon rainforest that can control its victim's brain. It's known as a parasitoid wasp, and it can manipulate the behavior of its host spider in an extremely complex way. Basically, the female wasp will attack a spider in its web and paralyze it using a venomous sting. The wasp then injects an egg into the comatose spider and the egg slowly grows into a larva and eats the flesh of the spider. But in one species of wasp, they're able to manipulate the spider and turn it into their zombie servant, making the spider build a web in such a way that protects the growing wasp inside of it, while that growing wasp slowly eats it from the inside out. That is one horrendous display of evolution and reminds me of a horror movie in more ways than one. Number one, Vietnamese Tarzan. Tarzan is real, but he doesn't live in Africa, he lives in Vietnam. His name is Ho Van Lang, and he spent 44 years living in complete isolation in the jungle, building tree houses, catching bats to eat, and fashioning tools out of whatever he could find. However, he was discovered in 2013 and forced to rejoin society, which he definitely was not very happy about. It all began after his father fled civilization in 1972 during the Vietnam War. His father took Lang and his brother with him after a U.S. military bomb killed his wife and two of their children. The small family then built wooden houses, sourced water from rivers, and ate a diet of fruit, monkey, snake, lizard, and frog. Since the boy grew up in the forest with his father, he had no interest in leaving it. They had managed to evade human contact for over 40 years, which is extremely impressive. According to the New York Post, Lang's favorite meal is rat. His isolation from the world is making it difficult for him to adapt to modern society. He can't understand Vietnamese, he has zero concept of time other than light or dark, and he doesn't even really know about electricity. But the most shocking part of it all is that Lang never knew females existed. His father never let him know about any aspects of society other than their three-person group. And so he's lived his entire life never knowing what a woman was. How unbelievable is that? Do these intense discoveries make you want to explore the jungle? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another exciting video.